Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded uh, square fully wedged in between these uh, two identical circles, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, the points A, B and C are our points of uh, tangency. And moreover, the points uh, P and Q are the centers uh, of these uh, circles. And furthermore, uh, the area of uh, each of these uh, identical circle is uh, given as 100 times pi centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We are going to calculate uh, the radius of each of these circles since these are our identical circles so the radius i'm going to label that one lowercase r and now we are going to find the value of radius r and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area is always equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius and in our case the area has been given to us 100 times pi so let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So we got 100 times pi is going to be equal to pi times lowercase r square. And here we can see this pi and pi is gone. So therefore lowercase r square is going to be equal to 100. And now I am going to undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. And here we can see our radius lowercase r value turns out to be positive 10 centimeter. So thus the radius turns out to be 10 centimeter. And in this next step, I am going to connect this center P with this point A. And likewise, this center Q with this point B as well. As you can see in this uh, next step, and we can see these are our radii as well, and we know our radius lowercase r is uh, 10 centimeters, so this is going to be 10, and this is going to be 10 uh, as well. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees, and likewise, uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees uh, as well since uh, these are our radii and this uh, is our tangent line and now let's focus on this uh, tiny green shaded uh, square i'm going to label uh, its uh, side length uh, as uh, x then all uh, its uh, side lengths uh, are going to be x uh, across the board since this is a square and in this uh, next step, I'm going to connect uh, this uh, center P with this uh, point D. As you can see in this uh, next step, and we can see that uh, this uh, PD is the radius of this uh, circle. And we know our radius uh, is 10 centimeter. So therefore, our radius uh, PD turns out to be 10. And now in this uh, next step, I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, df uh, on this uh, ap and we know this uh, segment is uh, x so therefore this uh, af segment has got to be x uh, as well and furthermore we know that this whole radius uh, ap is uh, 10 and this segment is uh, x so therefore uh, this remaining segment uh, pf has got to be 10 uh, minus uh, x and furthermore, I'm going to label uh, this segment uh, FD as uh, lowercase uh, m. Then this segment uh, is also going to be lowercase m as well. Then by symmetry, if this segment uh, is uh, lowercase m, then this segment has got to be lowercase uh, m as well. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, segment uh, AB length is going to be m plus x plus m if we add them that is going to give us uh, 2m plus uh, x and now in this uh, next step i'm going to connect uh, this center p with this uh, 
center Q as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear so no wonder the centers uh, P Q and this uh, point of tangency C lie on the very same line and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, P C is the radius of this circle and this is going to be 10 centimeter and likewise this uh, is radius as well so this is going to be 10 as well so therefore uh, this whole uh, segment uh, pq length is going to be 10 plus 10 is going to give us uh, 20 centimeter and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, a b segment is going to be equal to this uh, pq segment our a b segment is 2m plus x and uh, pq segment is 20 so therefore i can equate uh, 2 times uh, m plus uh, x is going to be equal to 20 and now i'm going to label this one as our equation number one and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, dfp and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 10 whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase m and 10 minus x and let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, so we got uh, m square plus uh, 10 uh, minus uh, x uh, whole uh, square is going to be equal to 10 square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2 times a b plus b square we are going to apply this identity on this uh, binomial so therefore we could write this one as uh, m square plus uh, 100 minus uh, 20 times uh, x plus uh, x square equals to 100 on the right hand side and now we could see this 100 and 100 they are uh, gone and now i'm going to move this uh, 20x uh, and x square on the other side and now i am going to undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our uh, lowercase uh, m value simply turns out to be the square root of 20x minus x square and i'm going to label this one as our equation number two so thus we are ended up with these two equations equation one and equation two and now i'm going to substitute this uh, m equals to square root of 20x minus uh, x square value over here in equation one so therefore uh, after the substitution this is going to become two times uh, our lowercase m value is 20x minus uh, x square and then uh, plus uh, x is going to be equal to 20 and now i'm going to move this uh, x uh, on the other side and now i am going to take the square uh, on both uh, sides to undo this square root so the left hand side 2 square is going to become 4 times uh, this square and square root undo each other so this is going to give us simply 20x minus uh, x square is going to be equal to and now let's recall this uh, identity once again we are going to apply this one on the right hand side so this is going to give us uh, 400 minus 40x plus uh, x square and now we are going to distribute this for them. and now i'm going to move uh, everything uh, on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step now we are going to combine uh, these uh, like terms and now we can see all these terms are divisible by 5 across the board so i'm going to divide by 5 across the board to make our job simple so therefore we are ended up with the x square minus 24x plus 80 
turns out to be equal to 0. And now we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, by factoring. And here we can see 80 could be broken down to 4 times 20. And if we add 4 and 20, that is going to give us uh, indeed 24. So therefore our factors are going to be x minus 4 times x minus 20 is going to give us equal to 0. And now we are going to separate these two factors. So this is going to be x minus 4 equal to 0. The other one is going to be x minus 20 equal to 0. For this first equation, our x value simply turns out to be positive 4 centimeter. And for this second equation, x value turns out to be positive 20 centimeter. And now we know that our x value must be less than 10. So therefore we are going to accept x equal to 4 value and we are going to reject this uh, x equal to 20 value. So thus our uh, x value turns out to be 4 centimeter and we can see this uh, x uh, represents uh, the side length of this uh, green square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square. And in our case uh, the side length of this uh, green square is 4. So therefore uh, this green shaded square turns out to be 4 square and that's going to be equal to 16 centimeter square. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded square turns out to be 16 centimeter square and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.